Hello there, everybody. Professor J here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, last time I left you. Ugh. Yeah, tongue stuck in throat for a second. <laughs> uh, last time I left y'all, uh, Arthur, Dutch, Bill, and Micah were separated after their boat sank. Arthur washed up on shore of this island, and uh, that's where I left it. So let's get into it. Actually, before we get into this, uh, if you're new and you find yourself enjoying this video, please subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I put up more videos that you may or may not like. Because I don't know any of your all tastes. You may like video games, you may hate them. You may like my voice, you may hate it. Don't know. But that leads me to my next thing of putting a comment down below telling me what your favorite part was, what your least favorite part was. Tell me what I could do better next time. I don't know. Whatever you want to comment, you can comment. And, as well as, you can leave a like at the end of this video or at the beginning. I do not mind either way. But, there's also one more thing. If you would, please share this video with people you think will enjoy the my this kind of content. And, with all that out of the way, let's get it, boys and girls. Get up, Arthur. Get up. He looks drunk. <laughs> he does. I have no clue. Oh, well, it's an island. It's an island at the very least. So there's got to be some coconut trees somewhere, which equals food and water. And there's birds, so meat. And probably fish, so more meat. But, uh, yeah, from the looks of it, remote island! Hooray! up a bunch of water, do it now. Seriously, this either looks like he's out of stamina or he's drunk. Oh, a bunch of sticks. I guess this is the out of stamina effect. Yeah, it is. Now that I think about it. Find something to eat and drink. First things first. Oh, this is an actual cutscene. Uh, chapter 5. Guarma. Oh. So, I guess not a deserted island if it's named. Or desert island? smoke. There's smoke, there's fire. Which means 
is uh possibly indigenous people, possibly allies. Don't know. Hey, I know that sultry figure right there. Oh yeah, Javier was with us too. It's a goddamn miracle. Here, have something to drink. Have I forgot drink. Javier Somebody was here. Somebody give a goddamn drink. <laughs> oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. So. the local. It's a uh, old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So. Yeah. What next? Uh, guys? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Next, I guess we're gonna get shot. <laughs> Gentlemen. This is quite uh, welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We okay, are no local one. militia? Aiden er, O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea in the storm. Is that so? No, I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this <laughs> really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley. Without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 Um, okay. That means move! You got a long walk ahead of you. And now I'm part of a chain gang. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi, son, <laughs> senior overseer for Alberto Fusa. He run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. How very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I would bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. He'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to scenic route. As soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la casa, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, disparales a todos. Uh. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. So, any trouble well, and now, we get shot. Hey, I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck there. Oh, great. We're part of a chain gang. Involuntarily well, part of one. Still, well, I guess it's how much I think I are. would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. If only I could knock some of these suckers out. I mean, there's five of us. We're all chained together, but still, there's five of us. We could take them down before they even get a shot off. If everything is executed properly. Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. 
Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Muévanse. Todos. Okay, now there's more of them. And more of us, which makes this a lot more complicated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's seven of us. That's one man each. It is. Again, we're like, I'd count each person here as half a man, because we're kind of chained together, and that limits the movement of us. <laughs> Gunshots. Uh, uh, oh, jeez, nice. Oh, his head was just bashed in. say that, but now they're turning on us. Okay, you need to How did I only shoot your hat? Everyone okay? Yeah. Well, damn. Them, uh, Reinforcements. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Guns, eh? Come on, come on, Debbie, everyone, follow me. Meet Debbie. Come, come, come. Ah. 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 Yeah. Ah. Get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Uh, yeah. Move, Dad. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey. Go, go. Okay. Uh, we're running through the woods. Through a forest, away from Spanish speakers. I don't know what national, what what nation they're from. We're running with a Frenchman. It sounds like. I have some guns Or Haitian, I guess. This is a bolt action. How did I only hit your hat? Okay. I mean, I like a good bolt action. I really do. But in this case, that... What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we out? Hetul Fontaine. That Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, oh, who is this Fusor? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusar, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. 
I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Equa Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. A little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. <laughs> I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. Yeah? But, I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. Could you help us get back our friend and get out of here? We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, we will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well, goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go <laughs> scope the entrance to that cave. Horses. I need to get some rest. Well, oh, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I am so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill. Do some more scouting carefully. Uh, and I'm dreaming about a deer. Well, can't say that's the weirdest dream I've ever had. Welcome. What does that say? What does that say? Welcome to the new world. You get ten headshots. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looks like uh, there's... Is that a banana? I think that's a banana. But it looks like there's some... Uh... Ooh, volcanic pistol. So, I'm going to restock and end this video off here. Cattleman revolver for volcanic pistol. Yeah. Double barrel shotgun. And I'm good. Uh, now I just gotta find something to eat. Miracle tonic and a health cure. Not the best, but I'm going to end this video off here, guys and girls. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you're new, subscribe and hit that bell to be notified whenever I put up a new video. But anyway, guys and girls, until next time, this is Professor J logging off.